Hello, my name is Francis Bryars. I'm lead trainer for integration training. And I want to talk a little bit today about vulnerability and strength. So often people think that vulnerability is weak and strength cannot be vulnerable. But it's my experience, both intuitively and practically, that the two things are intimately linked. So part of my background is in martial arts. And what I know is that if I want to hit really hard, actually in my body I feel quite vulnerable. If I feel strong, that means I'm carrying a lot of physical tension. And that physical tension actually inhibits the power that I can transmit through strikes uh, or grappling. Whereas if I'm really, really relaxed, as relaxed as I can be while still being upright, that enables me to be sufficiently fluid that I can transmit power very, very effectively. I've seen this particularly turn up in the knees. A lot of people when they're standing have habits either to lock the knees backwards, that's quite normal, and that puts the posture out of place in all sorts of subtle ways and builds tension into our posture. Or what people often go to if they learn not to do that or if they just have a different pattern is they end up bending their knees, even if very, very slightly, subtly bending their knees. Now, that in some ways is better than locked. It's likely to engender more relaxation through the rest of the body. But it tends to, especially over time as a habit, build in a certain amount of a different kind of tension. So you still end up tense either way. So just in case it's useful to you from a practical postural point of view, what I've found is that if you lock the knees right backwards and then just bring them just off locked. So the knee joint is balanced one part on top of the other. So it's just balanced, fluid. It's that balanced fluidity that, in my experience, gives power practically. And if we think of it in terms of embodiment, that the physical state correlates with a mental and emotional state, if I can allow myself to have that kind of balanced, fluid vulnerability exist in my posture, then the likelihood that I can allow myself to be balanced, fluid and vulnerable in my relationships is much greater. And in my experience, that balanced, fluid vulnerability allows me deeper relating, greater presence, and more power to affect the change that I want to make in the world. If you're interested in more work around embodiment, the relationship between vulnerability and strength, uh, and leadership, then please do get in touch. Maybe subscribe to the channel or send us an email through the website.